What's going on guys, how's it going? I have a new solar panel in the back here that I just put together. It's a 30 watt panel and I'm just driving over to the water pump because the battery keeps going dead. I only have one solar panel attached to one of the batteries, so I need another panel. The one battery is being charged by these two panels here. These are the old solar panels I made. I haven't built a solar panel in years. So I've just put together a new panel and we're connected to the charge controller here. Charging. The new solar panel is charging up the battery. It's only a 30 watt panel. The water pump only comes on once in a while when I'm watering the garden. So I basically built the same kind of panels that I did years ago, but I had to tab these cells. They were not tabbed. So a lot of the places you're gonna buy cells from, it'll be in millimeters. So these are 78 millimeters. So I found when I first started tabbing these without doing this little trick that I've been doing, it was very hard to tab. It may have been the tabbing wire that I bought. Maybe it was just cheap tabbing wire, but I figured out a way of getting them to tab easily and I'll show you that in the video. So in this panel here I've just used the aluminum tape to hold the bus bars down and I've used some hot glue instead of tile spacer just to give us that, that little bit of separation between the glass. So with the new panel here I can get 32 cells plus. I could have got at least two more rows in that glass. The batteries here are running this 24 volt water pump that I built. <laughs> This runs a water line 600 feet from this well over to the organic garden that I'm working on. One garden over here, another one over here, and two other ones over there. I'm trying out gardening this year. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm trying it out and this is really helping out with the watering of the garden because the watering is free. Let's put this solar panel together. I'll show you the entire process. Let's go. Right, so these are 78 by 78 millimeter cells. So if you lay them out here, that they are basically one solar cell that's cut into four. Space out two cells, we'll do our tabbing lengths. Should have done that first. So if you look here, this is the way I bought the tabbing wire. It's so perfect. That's the exact spacing really for the tabbing wire cut each end and then all your <laughs> you'd have all your wires ready to go i don't know why i don't do that but do it old school way there okay length so we can take the one that we've cut to the proper length and we can just lay it over top and then snip snip and just start making more of them Now, what I found with tabbing, the front of the cell tabs up very easily with the tabbing wire, uh, but I've been noticing that I've had to add a little solder and it's not sticking that well. So what I've been doing is, is a, this little trick here. It works every time. I feel like a Bob Ross for solar panel making here. <laughs> Instead of drawing pictures. We take our iron, make sure it's hot. We test it. Yep. And what I've been doing is I've been doing the dabbing method. I've just been putting little tabs. If you heat it too slowly, it'll just melt that silver right off. It just disappears. Just instant. Just melts in. And boom. So we're gonna string some cells now. 
This one's tabbed on the bottom, this one's tabbed on the top. So we have to go from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, negative, positive, negative, positive, all the way across. So now we're going to solder the bottom. Then we're going to be tabbing from bottom to top. Add a couple little dabs of solder here. Top. Drag and drop. The tops. So there's our string, eight cells. So eight cells, string is done. Now what we're gonna do is just test the voltage, 4.42, 4.4, so we're good to go. That string is good. So now all we have to do is grab the string carefully on both sides and then pull them apart like we're pulling them apart. We're pulling them apart and then just flip straight up. So you can carry it like this and then you just lay it down carefully until you're ready to build your panel. All right, we have them laid out. They're going to go negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive all the way around. Going to space them out as evenly as want going to stick a piece of aluminum tape on there just to hold it all right so we have to join the cells All we have to do now is connect those two rows up there. We have our complete series circuit. It's gonna flow from there. It's gonna flow around. It's gonna come around there, then around, and then out. We'll just use some bus bar wire on this side. I didn't know I had any, but I did. Put our piece there. Off this excess here. A little bit coming out. All right, so our panel is wired. Now, what we want to do is we want to have a couple little either tile spacers or little blobs of silicone, something to keep 
the glass when we put the silicone around from touching these cells. So I'm gonna try hot glue. I haven't tried this. So I have a ton of those panes of glass around, so I'm actually using up all the panes of glass that are just sitting. So it's definitely worth the learning experience to build your own panel if you're getting into the tech field. So once you try to build these panels, you're going to learn how to solder pretty quickly. I haven't built a panel in years, so I can see that my soldering is not really that great. But as I go along, I get better and better. So you can actually build a proper solar panel at home as well but it's gonna cost you even more if you encapsulate them and you buy all the encapsulated either resins, the EVA film that bonds them together. So you can look at that on other videos that you can actually build panels just like you would buy the panels. All right guys, so that was a 32 watt homemade solar panel and thank you for watching. Take care and peace out.